Is that a good one? Alright, put it in in the blender. Well, we're going to need to cut it more. Cut more at a time. Cut like a bunch of them lower. Here, like that. Good. Okay, go. Yeah, thank you. Alright. You hold them when I'm cutting Okay, uh, let's get them right here. Oops, sorry. Excellent. Alright, let's look at that. Okay, let's cut some more. Hold the thing. Hold it. All right, here we go. Cutting our wheatgrass. Oh, give it a good cut. There we go. Whoa. Whoa, it's going crazy. <laughs> it's wheatgrass. Wheatgrass is everywhere. No, not really. Okay, that looks good. Does that look good to you? No, how about a little bit more? A little bit more? That's because you're holding big scissors. And you're allowed to do something dangerous, eh? No. All right, here we go. One more. Last one. Excellent. Thank you. Right here. Okay. So now we're going to uh, blend them up with water. Ready? Get set. Go! Okay, so I've read a lot on the internet about whether or not wheatgrass can be uh, completely mixed with the Vitamix. This is that super blender I bought earlier this year, right here. And uh, apparently, a lot of people say, well, wheatgrass cannot be absorbed by humans. It's a grass, and only the nutrients can, but not the actual fibrous bits. And so you should strain those fibrous bits out. Then I've read other people that say, well, no, the Vitamix is so powerful that it can actually um, blend them up. I'm guessing they're right, because look how clear this runs. There's absolutely clear water in here, clear green. So I put a coffee filter in. Careful, Maya. I have my helper here. Yeah, looks good. It seems to be going through and leaving no residu residue. So maybe we can blend it up in our smoothies without having to filter it first. So here it is. This is what's left at the bottom of my coffee filter when I poured and strained wheat juice through it that I had blended in my Vitamix. One turn or one cycle of the uh, liquid setting. So there's really nothing here. There's really nothing here. There's maybe a little tiny, tiny bit on my spoon that I can pick up and show you. But that's nothing, and that hasn't even had the liquid extracted from it. So I'm going to say that small amount my body can happily handle. From now on, it's going straight through the Vitamix. Yay!